What's up, everybody? This is Jeff with Dangerous Noise, also known as Beyond Limits. This is my first tutorial. I'm messing around and trying to see if all my equipment works. I have been new to tutorials, but this is something incredible for everybody. I hope I can help. So I've been asked by a couple people, actually, to create a tutorial on tracking instrumentals out from machine and importing into logic and how I arrange them. So I'm going to kind of show you in detail how I do it. I have a track that I already created and I'm going to track it out and then I've already imported it into logic, but I'll show you in de in depth how I do it. So here we go. So this is a new track that I was working on a couple months ago. Haven't tracked like haven't finished mixing it or anything, but this is where we're at. So it starts out with, uh, you know, when I create the track, we all do it differently. I load up presets and I'll go and rearrange the drums and choose my own sounds. However you feel that you want to do it is up to you. I also like to go through and rename a lot of stuff. Um, I use a little silent and uh, different, different instruments that I use, and I go and rename them for whatever they are. Um, as well as after I create the track, I like to go through and whatever instruments I don't use in the actual preset, like Melbourne Kit, I'll click like Sound 8, you know, whatever. It, these were all loaded up before. And then I'll hold down Shift. I'm on a Mac. Hold down Shift, drop down to Sound 16, right mouse click, and reset. Therefore, once you start bouncing everything out, none of those are going to load up and show up and you don't have to worry about those being there but they will delete from your session so you can't go back and if you have anything on them of course do not do that but this is uh one quick way of just tracking it all out and making it really simple for yourself um so i've already done all that and uh um renamed all the files and um you know This is what I'm working with right now. It's a simple little track I was working on. And so I'm going to take this track, bounce it out from machine, and import it into Logic and start rearranging it. And that's how I do it. I do, I do everything through machine, and then I separate it into Logic. Um, I don't use them together as much as I should, but that's just... How I've always done it and that's it so once I create the track I highlight up everything and I rename everything go through reset all the tracks that I, I'm not using so there's not a bunch of extra sounds um, also one way to do it is if you have a track like say if I go and click on group H um, say I go and load up a, uh, a group um, chemistry kit i don't know what this is but um say i i can go click in here hit Control a and it'll highlight everything that's in here and you'll see it lit up um that way you'll know if there's any tracks on there um but there's nothing lit up so like right here Control a it lights this up so obviously there's a track here so i don't want to delete that so there's nothing here i can get rid of this it's a uh, ease of use um, so then I'll go up after I do all of that, go up and click file, export audio. Um, I, we all have our own ways of tracking things out. Um, I like to track out the loop because I use each arrangement window. So each scene I use as a loop and then I create the track. Uh, each song is a little different. Sometimes I do it this way. Sometimes I create my track in Logic, but we're all, we all have our own ways. Um, I'll change the source right here to sound outputs because that's going to be every individual sound. So you'll click down here and you'll see everything checkmarked. And uh, got instruments, Melbourne kit, you just got the couple because you reset all those instruments and you don't have to go through and uncheck everything. So now it's all there and ready to go. 
and uh, and just double check kind of everything, just like knowing what you have in there. And I only got like maybe I used uh, the cellophane kate uh, cellophane kit uh, just for like a hi hat or something. Um, you know, I didn't obviously clap, kick, and hi hat. That's it. Um, so then you go up, you choose your folder. I actually have a uh, preset folder um, for all these projects. And, well, I can't remember where I put it. <laughs> so I think I, I'd go into my folder. Um, production, production, production. Man, it's been a second. Uh, production. Here we go. And then Jeff's tracking folder. So this is where I send all my instrumentals. I'll go down, load a new folder. I called this one Crazy Dub Jeff. I was underscore. And then I always put the tempo at the end of it. 85, create, and then choose. So make sure you got all that figured out so you're not sending it somewhere. Um, that you don't want to. I record in 48 or uh, 48,000 hertz um, in 24 bit. I leave that just set because sometimes you want to get your stuff synced in uh, TV. So you want to keep it at 48 hertz, 48,000 hertz. Um, that's one thing they like. But uh, you just go through there, export. It's now exporting the entire track down. My fan is running on my computer, as you can hear. Done. All right. So we went through that. I close out machine. I already got Logic opened up somewhere right here. Um, I'll just show you. I'm just going to start from scratch. I already got it loaded up, but um, I'm just going to show you from the very get-go. So always remember to set your tempo in Logic. I always do this at the very beginning. So after you set your tempo, I always go right over here, click this guy, and that pulls up your project uh, assets. Uh, there's obviously nothing here. You can hit Control F or click here and set, it says Add Audio File. But that's a control F is a shortcut. And then you go down here, and I don't know if you know this, but once you click click on this guy up here, you, it'll show you recent place, places. So this happens to be where I left the files. I can double click this track, hit command A that selects all, add all, done. Uh, I'm, yeah, you got to change your project to 48 kilohertz so it's uh keeps the same and voila i always go over here just click anywhere hit command a highlights everything and then you can just drag it right over to the arrange window oh which hang on i don't have snap grid on session earlier. I didn't need it. Here we go. Use existing tracks or create new tracks. I always just create new ones. Control all. I just set it somewhere. There we go. So now everything is set up. Now, since I looped it, I can automatically chop it at an eight bar loop, right? So I just highlight everything. I got my uh, mouse set up. So right mouse click is cut, cuts it right at the nine. And you got your entire session right here. Um, that does not mean it's done. This is just the beginning. So then you have to go through and rearrange it. Um, one thing I don't like about machine is the way it names everything, it I wish it would not have everything in the very beginning because uh, I've already gone through and 
renamed a lot of stuff, but that's, you know, you just go back and you start renaming everything, arranging it. Um, now, if you want to, you can highlight everything, press Command R, that's repeat, and you can do it a couple times just so you got it all there. And then you kind of go through, and I'll warn you in advance, uh, machine tracks out everything extremely loud. So what I'll end up doing at the very beginning is just you click on the top track, hold shift, click on the bottom track, press command two, it opens up your uh, mixer window. And before I start mixing anything, I set everything to zero. And all you got to do is click on one thing. And since everything's highlighted, it's all connected. You just drag it all down. Um, and then you can start mixing it from there. Um, some people don't really care about mixing it like that. You can maybe drop it down like 5 dBs. And uh, it'll play back. You know, obviously it's clipping already because it's not mixed or mastered. Um, the beat is just made. So that's why I like to start everything from the ground up. Um, maybe if you want, um, you can click. You can just have it set to like negative 10 or something. Um, and... Uh, Start mixing it from there. So you got the session loaded up, and you can hear it. it's not clipping. I can't warn you enough. Do not let your tracks clip. A lot of engineers and mixing uh, beat makers, producers, they don't they don't understand the concept of the mix and clipping. And that's one thing I'd recommend just learning um, in the long run. It's going to help you all out. Um, I'm going to open up the session. I'll show you what I did because I have this session already made and show you what it looks like. I had it loaded earlier. Um, He's right here. So this is my session. It's how I arranged it. Um, loaded all up. I like to color code. Recreated everything into drums. Um... I started EQing, or I don't even know if I started EQing. I think I just started leveling everything out. Obviously, um, everything's negative quite a bit. And so here's my session. It's loaded up. It's ready to go. And this is what it turned out to be.